can I do this even though, even though blank, whatever the blank is. This is Scott Conway, Soke Scott Conway, the GQ Dojo. Find us online at gqdojo.com. And one of the questions we get is, can I do this even though, and what comes after the even though varies tremendously. Now, this answer is going to vary depending upon what martial arts style you are studying. With us, generally speaking, at the Guardian Martial Arts, if you are ambulatory, if you can get up and move around, walk around, chances are you can do this. My very first student had a list of medical limitations. Her doctor gave her a three-page long list. These are the things you cannot do. And we just worked with it. What she got from us is what's called a medical limitation ring. All that meant is at the end of her belt, she had this thick black tip, or white tip at the end of her belt, that told everyone she has a medical limitation. She cannot physically do everything. There's a tremendous irony to that. One of the things she was told is that the twisting motion, bearing weight of doing a throw, that she couldn't train doing that safely. She learned how it works. She practiced it without throwing an actual human being. And one of the big ironies is one time she had to protect herself using exactly what she never got to train doing. She learned how it works. She practiced the motion. Someone jumped her from behind and she spun. She threw him into the ground because she still learned how to do it. She just didn't practice doing it because of her back issue. But when she got attacked, she was still able to move it. Whether or not a particular limitation is going to hamper your ability to train in a style is going to vary based upon the martial arts style, it's going to vary based upon the school, it's going to vary based upon the instructors. I had a student call me and ask if he could train even though he was blind. I said, of course, there wouldn't be anything stopping a blind person from training in our art. Same thing with a deaf person. I've had students who are literally missing a hand. I've had students with a variety of limitations, physical limitations, medical limitations, mental limitations, you know, severe dyslexia, and you can still train in our styles. That's not always true for all other styles. But sometimes your physical limitations and some more acrobatic styles, you're not going to be able to do the tricks. You're not going to be able to do the motions. If you're wearing out your knees or your hips or your neck from repetitive injuries, maybe you were a runner and you kind of wore yourself out over time, you need to be in a functional art, like the Guardian Martial Arts. We are designed so effectively that one gentleman came to me in his late 40s. He said that you know he thought he might have to retire from martial arts because of the way we move. He was able to continue for 17 more years. So keep an eye out for that, depending what, what your even if is. One of the questions isn't only can you train even if, a lot of places may say yes, but will it improve my condition or will it make my condition worse? And if you're suffering from joint problems, very often you'll find martial arts training can make that worse. If you come train with us, generally speaking, we can work with the body and we can actually help you improve. This is Scott Conway at the GQ Dojo. Find us online at thegqdojo.com. Letter G, letter Q, D-O-J-O.com.